Lovers, I have a few things I want to share with you today, so I thought I would just go ahead and do a quick video, and um, I haven't done one for a while, so that's that's my plan today. And I also have um, some uh, giveaways for you. It's going to be a triple whammy giveaway today, so stay tuned for that. Um, first of all, I just want to share a couple things I've been knitting on, and I've been posting a lot on Facebook and also Instagram. Um, so, um, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden I looked and I hadn't posted for a week and I just, I don't know what happened that week. Just, it got away from me or something. So anyway, I'm just going to update you quickly on what I'm working on. So first of all, I'm working on Amy Dachin's, um, it's called Sipsy's Folly Sweater Pattern. It's her new class on Craftsy and it's just a completely amazing class. Amy is a spectacular um, teacher and is, and her insight and wisdom about technique and all things knitting is oh, it's amazing. So I highly recommend this class. Uh, I'll t I'll talk about it again when I finish the sweater. But it's this adorable sweater. It's knit from the bottom up. It's a yoke sweater with um, color work in the yoke. And I don't know if you can see it here, but it is a leaf, a squirrel, and some acorns. So it's right up my alley. My love of fall. Um, Anyway, I'm having a lot of fun with that. So I am up to the armholes. I put the armholes um, on scrap yarn, or the underarm stitches on scrap yarn here. I'm knitting a hem. It's got a hemmed bottom, and I put some really cute little stripes on the inside of the hem. So this is the turning row, and you just flip it up like that, and then I'll, I'll seam it down. So you won't see the stripes on the bottom. We'll just be... A secret for me. <laughs> it will make me happy anyway when I put it on in the morning. So that's fun. I'm working hard on that and just really enjoying it. So craftsy.com. It's called Sipsy's Follow. The class is called Custom Yoke Sweater. Again, I'll talk about it more later in greater detail. But if you're looking for a great instructional class on sweater um, knitting and making the sweater fit, that could be a really good option for you. Secondly, I've been working really hard on my, uh, I have a bunch of teaching venues coming up, so I'm very excited for that, but I need to get some work done for that, so I've been uh, very diligently working on that. Um, first of all, I'm doing a really fun color work class, um, starting, I'm teaching it um, other places as well, but I'm um, teaching it first at Vogue Knitting in Seattle, so... Uh, please check that out. I have a whole bunch of classes and several new classes that I'm teaching for um, Vogue Knitting Live. And um, this is uh, one of them. It's a color work class. We're going to do corrugated ribbing. We're going to do the Latvian braid. Um, then two strand, two handed um, color knitting. So working with both hands. And then I'm also going to teach you how to do some trapping if you have a longer um, space between your color changes. So some really fun stuff. We're going to make a hat in the class. So that's one um, pattern I'm writing up in sample. There will be lots of options for you to choose from. And I'm also working up this little, it's kind of a little Valentine-y inspired. This is going to close up into a heart. Um, having a lot of fun with that. So um, a couple little hats um, that I'm working on for that. Quince and Co. yarns in the Lark um, worsted weight wool. Wonderful for color work. Oh, and the Amy um, Dachin's class, the custom yoke sweater. I ordered the kit right from Craftsy, and I think it was $50 for the whole sweater, and I think I'm going to have a lot left over, so I could do some fun hats and things with it, too. So Craftsy has great uh, kits for a lot of things, so you should check that out if you're interested. Okay, on to book reviews, and I'm not going to do long extended book reviews, but I have a stack a mile high of books that I need to be reviewing that I haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna to try to um, do a better job on that. It's just that I have I have such love for these books and I want to do a good job reviewing them that I think I keep putting it off. Um, I wanna give everyone a fair shake. So, and next week I will have another book review, a double book review and giveaway. So today I'm having a triple book review and giveaway. And um, strangely enough, none of these books are knitting. Um, Related, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So the first two books were sent to me by um, Stuart Tavorian Chang, uh, STC Publishing, which produces fantastically gorgeous craft books. The first book is um, called Art Doodle Love. 
it is a Melanie Fallick book, STC Craft, as a publisher. And I know this is backwards because I'm just I'm just doing it on my um, actually my iPhone. I'm recording today. Nothing too fancy. I love these kinds of books. So Art Doodle Love is the name of the book, and it's just a fill in pages. Um, it says fill in pages prompt users to sketch, collage, and write. So. Um, it gives you little prompts and the pages are beautiful, kind of smeary watercolor uh, pages with little prompts. I think this would be great for like a teenager or an older child who, a middle schooler who loves to draw and um, be creative, but they want you to use photographs and it's like a little art book. Um, open pages, ugh, just gorgeous, lots of suggestions and ideas. It's um, a journal of self-discovery is the little tagline on the front. So um, I love things like this. I like making art books. I've done some of those in the past with uh, old TC. So um, it'd be a really cute travel log, you know, places to stick tickets and photos of your trips and anything you collect. So, oh, I love it. So if you're interested in a copy of Art Do the Love, I'm going to tell you how to win that at the end. My second book from STC is another Kay Fawcett quilting book. And um, he wrote this one along with Liza Pryor Lucy, Photographies by Debbie Patterson. This is another Melanie Fallick uh, book. It's 24 new projects made with shot cottons and striped fabrics. Oh, if only I had time to do more sewing and quilting. I'm telling you, I made one large size quilt. Um, it's on my bed. I love that quilt so much. I can't even describe it. I would, I would cover my whole house in uh, handmade quilts if I could because uh, that's how much I love them. But the thing about this book, even if you don't quilt, um, even if you're a knitter, it is so inspiring. I These Kay Fawcett books are, the photography is beautiful, the color, I mean for your knitting alone, the photography is so inspiring. Um, I haven't had enough time to just dive in and soak this one up. It's gorgeous, gigantic coffee table size book. Um, I mean, even the cover, just look at that. And then the patterned fabric on the back. That's lovely. Patterns in the back. Oh, there's one that I just looked. I mean, even if you just do squares. I saw one in here, I should have marked it, but I mean, look at it. He, this, he is just so inspiring. Anyway, my love for him only grows stronger <laughs> with each book. So there you go, two books. Um, this one's called uh, Kate Fawcett Quilts, Shots, and Stripes. So there are two books right there. So, oh, I love them. Love. <laughs> My next one is, everybody's going crazy over this book. It's, uh, I know it's backwards, sorry. It's the Spinner's Book of Yarn Designs, Techniques for Creating 80 Yarns by Sarah Anderson. There's a foreword by the uh, famous Judith McKenzie, the most fabulous spinner around, along with Sarah Anderson. Now, Sarah Anderson, I first um, came to know because her, she has YouTube videos, so look up Sarah Anderson on YouTube and you'll find some great information there. Her um, Navajo Plying, uh, video is favorited and bookmarked on YouTube for me because uh, pretty much every time I go to Navajo Ply, uh, any yarn I'm trying to make, I go and watch her video first because she's, she has just like a calm, gentle way of instructing and it makes you really feel like you can do it too. And that's exactly what her whole book is like in here. Um, I did get to review this book before it was published and I actually have, um, I have a quote on the back. <laughs> my quote is, an invaluable and comprehensive resource. That's, that's my little quote on the back of this. I'm a fairly new spinner. I've been spinning a couple years, so um, I certainly, um, don't know that much about it, but I, I really enjoy it. So for someone like me who's just kind of starting out, th 
This book is fantastic for someone who's really experienced and you've been spinning for years and years. It's also a great book. It's like a stitch dictionary basically for spinning, which there, this is it. There, I don't know of any others out there like this. Um, she talks about all different types of yarns. I'm not gonna get into it too much so this video is not too long. But also um, sock yarns, great photography, a story always does. Um, 80 different yarns. Um, she teaches you how to do everything you'd ever want to know about spinning. Ugh, I just, I want to like work my way through the whole book because I really only do a couple different types of yarn. Because like I said, I'm not all that good. I really enjoy it. But and then the cool thing is in the back, um, they put this envelope, right, sealed on the back and it has all these resource cards. So this it's like the best resource ever. Um, I actually spent a lot of time reading through this when I um, first got the pages just online. I had a digital copy and oh, it's amazing. So if you're interested in spinning, um, even if you don't win this book, I think you almost have to get it. It's so great and uh, you will learn so much. Anyway, I'm really excited about this one, and um, I haven't been spinning much lately, so this is really inspiring me to get back to my wheel. All right, so um, check out the blog post below, and I'm going to tell you how to sign up to win um, these books. So I'll have three winners, one, one for each book, and I'll tell you all about that. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye, knitters.